this position, an SEO specialist, will get more in demand as we advance. Not only because of the pandemic, but more and more businesses are really going online, maximizing social media and the internet to build their online presence. Hello everyone! Welcome to another video. If you're new here, my name is Victoria Nell. I am a freelancer, VA, full-time mom, and a blog writer. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more contents like this in the future. So without further ado, let's proceed to the video. So at this moment in time, we all know that the demand for freelancing and freelancers and online jobs has spiked. So why? So aside from the pandemic that forced a lot of businesses, especially overseas, to go online and take their business digitally, a lot of us Filipinos also saw the big gap between working a regular job here in the Philippines versus freelancing. It's not a secret naman that here in the Philippines, konti na yung trabaho, sobrang taas pa ng requirements. A simple cashier requires you to have two years of experience and four years of college degree. But in freelancing your skills all that matters so if you are a general VA like me where I started or you are a newbie freelancer that's looking for a way to increase your income potential then one of the keys in freelancing is niching down niching down means focusing on a single skill or service instead of doing everything all at once which means that when you go out and apply for that skill there will be lesser competition and higher demand which means that the salary will follow there will be a higher income potential for you so in this video I would like to focus on one of the niches of freelancing which is in demand right now for businesses going online and digital this is an SEO specialist so what are SEO specialists? SEO specialists researches and analyzes the trends and best practices online to develop and implement strategies that improve search results ranking of your clients. This means that as an SEO specialist, which means search engine optimization, what are search engines? Google, Yahoo, Bing, and a lot more. Your work is to make your client or the business of your client more discoverable online. There's no denying when a business has a stronger online presence, it is undeniable that it easily translates to sales. That is why SEO specialists are very crucial for businesses or for clients who are bringing their businesses online. This position, an SEO specialist, will get more in demand as we advance. Not only because of the pandemic, but more and more businesses are really going online, maximizing social media and the internet to build their online presence. And these businesses don't know how to level up their ranking in search engines. That will be your work as an SEO specialist. So in this video, we'll talk about your income potential if you choose the path of being an SEO specialist. So, SEO specialist salaries. Are they worth the career change? And will you make money as an SEO specialist? The answer to that is yes. Yes, you will. Of course, just a disclaimer, if you are a newbie freelancer, I am discouraging you to let go of your current or present regular 9 to 5 job and shifting immediately to freelancing or being an SEO specialist. Guys, security is still number one. Without establishing the proper foundation in your freelancing career as an SEO specialist, please hold on to your current 9 to 5 job. So let's take a look at the average SEO salaries here in the Philippines for Filipino clients. The average salary of SEO specialist ranges from 25,142 pesos and 17 cents per month to 40,000 pesos. This is based on several salary comparison websites like Payscale, Salary Expert, Indeed, and Talent. One thing to note here is that these are most likely the salary range you'll get if you work for a local agency or BPO company here in the Philippines. But if you work for a foreign SEO agency or work directly with the business that need the SEO service, your salary will most likely be higher without question. 
Now, let's take a look at the comparison between a virtual assistant salary and an SEO specialist salary. On average, virtual assistants earn less than SEO specialists. VA salary ranges between 19,700 to 29,600 pesos, while SEO specialists earn around 25,400 to 42,600 pesos. So SEO specialists earn between 5,000 to 12,000 pesos per month more than virtual assistants. If we look at it on a yearly basis, SEO specialists can earn up to 749 pesos per year while VAs can only earn around 383,000 pesos per year. So an SEO specialist salary is 366 pesos more than a VA salary yearly. So this comparison is to point out the importance of niching down or having a specialization. Of course, while being a generalist has its perks, take note of this. Being specialized in one job can skyrocket your income. Now let's take a look at the job listings at onlinejobs.ph, my favorite freelancing platform, which has listings from foreign clients, so the rates are higher. Take note as well in freelancing, it's very common for low-balling clients that pay you below the average or expected pay. Of course, we are not entertaining those kinds of job posts. Always, always, always know your worth. So let's take a look at this screenshot. This one is looking for an SEO expert and offering a $1,000 to $2,000 monthly salary. This one is a little more specific. The job poster is looking for an Amazon listing and SEO specialist and offering $1,000 to $2,000 per month. If you want a real life example, I have here JP's story. So JP is actually someone who took the same course that I took in order to become an SEO specialist and learn the skills necessary. But he took this earlier than me, way earlier than me. So he is in essence my senior. So JP as a night shift CSR or customer service representative started looking for a better paying job. After he finished the course, he tried applying on job posts online. Currently, JP is earning $1,200 monthly as an SEO specialist. So, how can you maximize your income as an SEO specialist? Tip number one, work directly with the clients. Work directly with the business that needs the SEO service. This way, you will avoid any middleman fees. A good example here is like working through Upwork where they get a certain cut from your rate. This tip might be a bit difficult to do, but the rewards are worth it. Second tip is niche down or specialize. If you're currently a general virtual assistant, it might help you boost your income if you focus on one thing and be really good at it. For example, if you feel like your communication skills are above average, maybe copywriting is a good niche for you. If you're extra analytical, maybe the role of an SEO specialist will suit you perfectly. If you have watched my previous videos, when it comes to being a general VA, I really do not recommend taking any course at all because all the skills that you need, you already got it. But when it comes to niching down, you have to learn specific technical skills that's hard to acquire when you are on your own. You need to have a roadmap that gives you a clear direction and also mentors where you can ask questions and whom can guide you. And you can do this by taking online courses. Usually, online courses have mentors. The admins can help you. You will also be part of a community where you will get the support that you need. So the third tip is find clients in the UK, US, or Oceania region. Foreign clients obviously pay more and you will be paid as well in dollars. If you're inspired to take SEO seriously and want to move on to the next level, I recommend taking Square One, the free starter SEO course. It's a free course that potential students can take so you can get a better overview of how it is to be an SEO specialist. 
Take note guys, this is for free ha. Of course, when you enroll in the paid master class, you will also be part of the group where you can meet other course takers and your seniors like me, where we can also exchange support to each other and ask questions. So if you're ready to take that step, just click the link in my description box below to start your registration. So that's it for this video. I hope that it has been helpful. Again, thank you for watching and see you inside the free course. Bye!